Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And ye shall hear of what? Wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be. If you are an end time believer, thou shall not be. Thou shall not be. Okay. He said, For all these things must, must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it means before the end, these things must happen. Hello, church. Am I talking at all? It means before the end of time, there must be hardship. So your prayer will not change it. But one of the key ways of coming out of it is making sure that your heart is not troubled. Knowing because you are aware. As an end time believer, you know you are aware that there will be famine, there will be hardship, there will be hunger, there will be death. Your heart should not be troubled because Jesus said to them, it is not the apostle speaking, it is Jesus speaking. He said to them, it is a thing that must come to pass because it's a prophecy that must be fulfilled. So when you complain of famine, when you complain of these days of famine, it means that you are not revelated to have an understanding. That is why we that understand the true revelation of the world should not be a partaker of things happening in the world. It means that when somebody that lives in the world is complaining, you that understand the word of revelation should be able to tell them, calm down. It doesn't matter. Sir, I can tell you that if there is hardship, I don't know. Because already my heart has been channeled with the understanding that it is a Bible prophecy that must be fulfilled. Didn't you see in the Bible that when there were famine, that God's people, a lot of God's people, apart from those, God said, did you know, oh Jesus, I read in the book of Amos chapter 8, when God himself sent a famine. Do you, do you know that God can send anything to give you a warning? I'm going to show you the mystery in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's a scriptural revelation. So as a child of God, when you don't have this understanding, there is a problem. Let's continue our scripture. Verse 7. Verse 7. He said, for nation shall rise against kingdom against the story of nation rising against nation is no longer a story it's happening so many today ukraine and russia tomorrow uh, this one and this one today america and china tomorrow this one and this one so it's no longer news kingdom rising against kingdom <laughs> it's no longer news the first person that we criticize what we do here Go and check very well. We'll be another pastor in another church. Kingdom rising against what? So it's no longer news. The first person that we talk about and say, ah, how come this guy is doing so much charity? How come he preaches like this? How come he dances like this? How come he flies like this? How come he says this and that? Go and check very well. That person will stand in another place and claim that he's a born again. Kingdom rising against... Check very well if you do business. If you're a pass seller, you sell pass. Just watch very well. If you're selling engine and another person is selling tire, 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 sorry, tire. Look very well. It will be difficult for both of you to quarrel. But if that neighbor is selling engine and you're selling engine, <laughs> kingdom against. So, it is a Bible prophecy that must be with you. Let's continue there. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against what? And there shall be what? 
There shall be what? Do you know the meaning of famine? Famine and pestilence. It means there will be hunger. There will be hardship. That's the meaning. So it's a prophecy that must be fulfilled. And Jesus said to them, listen, it's something that must come to but he said to them, but let your heart not. So the key for you to overcome this challenge now is setting up a system in your understanding that your heart should not be what?